Hey, and welcome to a mix breakdown um, where I actually show you what I did to a mix that I recently made or actually to a recording. Um, it's a jingle that I made for an advertising, um, just 30 seconds, um, lots of different instruments, electric guitars, acoustic guitar, short tiny bit of ukulele um, that I made quite interesting and a um, little bit of drums, bass and finally also vocals and also a synth and I'm gonna go through all the different tracks gonna show you what I did um, with the plugins and also on the console um, it was mixed down to um, through the console to tape so it's actually a really a hybrid mixing um, project all right so I would say let's get started and get straight to the tracks and see what I did um, mix wise to the song I'm gonna play you now just the jingle one time so you can hear what we're dealing with and then we're gonna start off um, with the drums so the first track here Right, so um, very short um, jingle, typical um, advertising jingle, about 30 seconds. And let's start off here just with the drums. And what I basically used here is two instances of Logic Drama. Um, just played a little bit around here with a, um, a rock kit um, with the Matrix, nothing too complicated. Um, added a little bit of percussion here, so let's solo the drums. And the second one are the claps. Sounds like that. And what I basically did here is, to the drums, I just used um, the Sheps 73 and I used a little bit of premium saturation here. I really like that. Um, then I used a little bit of 12,000 Hertz, boosted that a little bit and also um, 35 Hertz to get really the, um, the base of the kick out and to emphasize that a little further. And on the console itself I used also the EQ where I just added also um, 12K and um, 50 Hertz. So to get really the bottom end out of the whole kit. Um, and that's basically it, um, the drums itself. And I actually didn't use um, any compression on, on, on the drums itself. I used just the bus compressor um, that I'm going to show you um, later um, when we went through all the tracks. And that's about it. Um, I also used a little bit of reverb. All the tracks which are here on the Auxiliary 1 um, channel are sent to the same reverb unit, which is the Mediver 4. I'm going to show it to you also later, um, which has the kind of a room setting that I adapted a little bit um, just to give it the feeling that all the instruments were tracked in the same um, place or in the same studio. And yeah, so those are the two tracks. Um, on the second track, I also used the Shep's um, EQ, but here I um, have overdriven it a little bit and it sounds quite interesting. Let me solo that for you. And without, so this one's kind of boring. And now they really pop out here um, together with the drums. So basically the same setting also here, a little bit of a high-end boost and with the um, preamp drive. All right, and then I also have here um, a cool loop that was actually a, um, um, a logic loop that I added here. Um, I think I may cut it up a little bit to make it more um, coherent to the track. Um, sounds like that. So it's laid into the um, rhythm section here um, very quietly, but it kind of gives the impression together with the drums. And without. So 
so it really excites the um, rhythm section even more and um, I really really liked that sound so I kept it and I didn't use any of the EQ um, here I thought that the sound was quite okay for that um, just went also to the um, bus compressor of the drums um, next one bass and here it gets a little bit more interesting um, what I did on the bass here is firstly is a channel EQ and after that it goes into the bass amp um, it was recorded with the DI and um, just used here the logic bass um, emulation um, reduced here a little bit of 100 Hertz and also a little bit of 200 um, with together with the bass and then kind of had a little bit um, too much low end to it and so I reduced it um, before and here and on the bass cap here itself um, used a little bit of compression let's listen just to the bass right and that's without so this is the compressor of the um, bass amp um, left the bass frequency just in the middle reduced the mids really scooped them out and also reduced the treble and the next thing is um, the dbx 160 here from waves and um, it has quite a high amount of compression it goes up to negative 10 as far as i remember um, ratio is here around 4 so 4.7 and um, didn't do much anything to that and as you can see it compresses quite a bit around negative 10 on the peaks and the next thing here is the channel EQ um, from the SSL channel um, I made here firstly a low cut as you can see and I also made a high cut of 6000 Hz here and what I wanted to achieve with that is that the bass doesn't get quite in the way with the kick drum as I boosted quite a bit um, on the kick drum or on the whole drum kit itself of 35 and also 50 and so that I don't have any low frequency of the, of the bass um, in there so that's why I made a low cut here <clears throat> and also I didn't feel that there is any um, necessary things that I like about the bass here um, in the higher frequencies so I made a cut of 6000 Hertz all right and then I made also um, or I reduced a little bit of 1.8 kilohertz and also of 2.4 then 300 reduced also a little bit of 300 again even though I reduced it before and with the channel EQ and so this has quite some uh, EQ moves on this particular track so let's listen without and with okay for example without the bass cabinet also this is just the DI and then with the cabinet and lastly I used um, the max bass plugin which um, adds harmonics to the signal um, to get a little bit um, of the low frequencies back and I really like that sound so that's without and with so it gives when you have good monitors a little bit back of the low end and it really um, emphasizes that all right so that's the bass and on the console um, also send it to the reverb and I used on the EQ a little bit of a 80 Hertz pump um, and that's about it and did nothing else here and let's move on to something really interesting there is a very very tiny ukulele part which goes from the um, pre-chorus up to the chorus sounds like that right and with the ukulele um, let's bring it up here okay I 
as you can hear, it's quite severely overdriven. And what I did here is um, I just added the one knob driver. You can basically do this with any plugin that has a own or any overdrive plugin. Um, it sounds without a little bit boring, and I wanted to really um, make it kind of special to make it more exciting for the pre chorus. And um, without the one knob driver, it sounds like that. and with so it makes it kind of more exciting let's hear it in the mix without and with okay so this is a very cool um, thing that you can use um, when you feel that um, an instrument sounds kind of boring or you want to make something special for a lead up to another section of the um, song I mean it's always a, a cool idea and the other plugins a little bit of compression here with the um, 2a so quite negative 5 to negative 7 here um, on the channel EQ again I reduced everything or I cut out everything below 120 hertz um, reduced or no, boosted a little bit of 5.8 kilohertz and boosted quite a bit on 2000 hertz um, I reduced um, quite a bit on 500 hertz um, particularly the ukuleles don't sound quite good around those frequencies um, let's listen to that without and with And with the boost so it really brings it up and um, makes it more present and yeah so that's the SSL channel and I also added here as same as I did with the claps I used here the drive of the Shep's EQ um, and just a little bit of a boost of 12,000 and here I also took out 220 again so it really took out um, quite a bit of the frequencies that are around 200, 300, 500 of the ukulele to really get the, um, the presence or the, the high frequencies of the ukulele out and to cut it through the mix. And then um, just a J37 with a little bit saturation. Right? So that's the ukulele. And let's move on to the acoustic guitars.